Hey guys, it's James here from Fire and Kid, and today I've decided to cover the Black Ops 2 editions of the game. Now, I know this is a bit late, but I just wanted to cover it, as I haven't really got many commentary ideas lately, and I've been struggling for what to buy. So I'm just going to discuss a bit about my thoughts and opinions and tell you guys what's in it, if you don't know already. But just a quick reminder, because I doubt many people actually remember the full package and what's included in it. So there's three editions, actually there's four. I forgot about the fourth one. Well, there's the ordinary edition. There is the hardened edition, I believe it's called. And then there is the prestige edition or the care package edition it's supposed to be called and sorry I'm just trying to um, basically there's another version which is a PC version and it's called the Black Ops 2 Deluxe Edition which have not many people have actually covered I know Ali A's covered it <coughs> but not many other people from that apart from that anyway alright here we go um, oh no, I thought I found it. I thought I found it. But I haven't. Um, I think I found it now. But it's basically like the hardened edition, but it's like you don't get the steel book case and it's about £10 cheaper. So, yeah, it's like £10 cheaper, but you don't get a lot of stuff. You basically get st all the downloadable stuff, I believe. And then um, that's about it, really. Anyway. Coming on to the hardened edition, well basically the normal edition you just get the game, you know the plastic case and maybe a two day trial if you're lucky and the manuals and you know normal stuff and then we have the hardened edition as well which in the UK is $59.99 and in America I believe it's something like $79.99 and then in the U, I was going to say the uh, AU, which is uh, Australia, but anyway, Australia is a bit more. But anyway, Black Ops 2 Hardened Edition contains um, the game, obviously, a two sided collectible steelbook case, which I do actually like. I know it sounds really dull and stupid, but the Black Ops 1 steelbook and the Model Warfare 3 they, they feel really nice, you know, the artwork looks great on a steel book of the game, it's, it's just really nice, trust me. Then we have limited edition challenge coins. Now what these are, um, basically they have the kill streaks on them, one of them does I believe, and then there's a code on the coin, like imprinted on it, and you use that code somewhere on the Xbox, I don't know if it's on the dashboard or it's in game, but, and it unlocks something, but apparently it's like any random thing, but I'm not sure. Now I thought it was, now I believe it's for the player card backgrounds, um, for multiplayer and zombies, which is another thing you get in the hardened edition. Now I'm not too sure about that. Um, it says multiplayer backgrounds for multiplayer and zombies, so that means you get a player card for zombies as well. Leaderboards and that. Now I can't remember if leaderboards are confirmed for zombies, but I know it's more in detailed stats than that, so it'd be nice to know how many zombies you've killed over the time you've been playing. And obviously your playtime as well and your accuracy and all sorts of stuff like that. Um so basically like COD Elite for zombies, which I hope will happen. Anyway, going on. The other thing, uh downloadable content as well within this hardened edition, there's Downloadable bonus maps including the Nuketown 2025, which you can get if you pre-order the Ordinary Edition. That's like a pre-order bonus. And this is only um, exclusive to the Hardened and Deluxe. And the Care Package Edition is the Nuketown Zombies as well. Or Nuketown 2025 Zombies should be named as. And then we have exclusive multiplayer weapon camo. Now, the winter camo, it was shocking in Modern Warfare 3. Now, I only use it if I don't have a camo, but it just looks rubbish. I mean, they should have, like, a chrome colour camo, or, like, red, or something nice, not some really crap camo. You know, they should have, like, a silver or a chrome, like I said, 
or bronze, you know, any nice kind of colour you want. And so I'm just reading through this, it's got like a ton of crap. Um, then we have Claw and Zombies Avatar props for Xbox. And if you pre order the PlayStation, I mean, get the hardened edition, uh, you get the multiplayer and Zombies premium themes. Which sounds better than the Avatar props. <laughs> um, which I'll be getting. Then we have the official Black Ops 2 soundtrack from composer Jack Wall and featuring the theme song by Trent Reznor. And that's hard in addition. Plus you do get the nice box it comes in, you know, box that you get everything in, Steve or... And the box does look very nice, uh, which includes all the stuff that I've just mentioned. Now the hardened, actually not the hardened, but yeah, the hardened edition comes with the care package edition of the game, plus the care package edition also gets an exclusive care package which contains all the stuff and the remote controlled MQ-27 Dragonfire drone. Quadrotor. So, just remote control toy, guess, which is what I see as. Now, I just think it's mad and a bit mental, to be honest. Not mental, but a bit crazy. I mean, I don't really know the prices yet for the Care Package Edition, but on Game UK, uh, which is like GameStop in the UK, basically. They're selling it for 159.99. Not selling it, pre-ordering it. Sorry. Um, which I don't know is a final price because no other website's selling it, like Amazon or Play.com or anywhere. So I'm a bit confused because they would go to Amazon first because Amazon probably gets the most sales for games. But you can pre-order the hard edition anywhere 59.99. Now if it is 159 or 150 pound, that's a hundred pounds more just to get a toy quadro to drone and it to be contained in a care package now if it was more like 120 pound maybe I would consider it but when it's at that price I think it's just a total rip-off because you could buy four Black Ops 2 games for that price let's say you have four consoles you could buy on the Xbox, the PlayStation, the PC, and the Wii. £160. If I'm, yeah, my maths is correct. <laughs> and I just don't want to really spend that much money. I mean, I think I'm going to get the Hardened Edition because, as you probably know, I'm a big Call of Duty fan. That's why I make Call of Duty videos on YouTube. But I do like to get the limited edition games and stuff but when it's that much I don't really want to spend that much especially as they haven't said anything at all about Call of Duty Elite within these hardened editions the deluxe or the care package edition by the way the deluxe is only available for PC if I didn't mention <coughs> and I don't really want to be spending that much amount of money let's have to spend £160 but then I've got to spend £40 for Elite I don't really want to spend that when I could just spend sixty pound and a hundred, I mean sixty pound, then forty to go up to a hundred. And let's say if I wanted to buy, which is obviously a bit more reasonable, a hundred pound, but I don't really know if they're even implementing Call of Duty Elite in like a paid service into Black Ops 2. So they might just be doing map packs, which I do prefer in a way. Because then you can kind of choose which ones you want to buy. But lucky thing is with the uh, Treyarch games, they're not Spec Ops. So I do like the Spec Ops DLC, but I'd rather have, you know, the multiplayer maps. But obviously, Treyarch have got the zombies, so I'd actually prefer the zombies than multiplayer maps. Because zombies is just legendary, isn't it? It's, just, it's more fun than multiplayer, but you can't play as much if you know what I'm saying. Like, 
you can't, it's harder to literally just play over and over again. And plus, you need a lot more time to play a good game of zombies. You need, like, you know, at least two hours. Whereas a Call of Duty game is about, you could actually get one in five minutes. If you're playing well, you know, free for all, team deathmatch, anything really. Well, maybe not free for all, but team deathmatch, kill confirmed, anything like that. So, anyway, I'm going off, a bit off topic now. So, let's say if I was, I want to get PC version as well. So I could buy the care package, £160, then buy Cod Elite. It's another £40, and then I would end up spending £240. You know, which is just ridiculous. For a game. One game. Or I could spend £80 instead. So I'm trying to save a bit of money. You know, I'm just going to get the hardened edition. But I still um, would like to get it. But I just think it's just too expensive for what it is. You know, I'm going to buy, if I did buy the care package, I'd get, I'd get it, you know. And then, bam, what would I do with the Quadrota drone? I probably wouldn't use it for about two or three weeks. And then I would use it, and then use it, and then I'd stop using it, and then I would probably not use it for a long, long time. You know, it's just a collector's item, isn't it, really? That's what you're paying for. But, you know, I guess... I don't really know what to think, to be honest, because I don't really. I, I want to say stuff, but I, I can't really say certain stuff because there'll be people watching this video that would have bought this care package edition. They will buy it. I know somebody that is buying it. I know two people actually, and it's their decision. I'm not going to say they're mad, mental, but you know, if that's the only game they're buying, well go for it. Anyway, another thing is I'd rather spend, you know, let's say £100 on other games like Medal of Honor, Warfighter, Halo 4, FIFA and Forza Horizon. So there's five games definitely, or not definitely, but hopefully I'm going to get. So 40, 80, £160 plus the 60 which is £240. So I could buy all those games, you know. So hopefully you've enjoyed this commentary, guys. Sorry, I'm I'm so so tired. <laughs> Halfway through this commentary, I just got so tired, but I wanted to carry on doing it. And I hope you've uh, enjoyed this commentary. <coughs> I'm getting a bit of a sore throat as well. Um, I just did like about five commentaries. I did three live ones with the uh, the new multiplayer maps. And then um, I've just done one about the games that are coming up. Actually, no, this game, this commentary will come out before that. Never mind. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this commentary, like I just said. And let me know in the comment section below which editions you're getting. You know, so I can uh, just see what people are getting because I've asked a few people and they don't really know yet. So. Um, I'd just like to know people's thoughts and opinions, if you agree with me, if you disagree, you know, don't mind a debate in the comments, um, I do like that kind of thing sometimes. Anyway guys, drop a like if you like this video, and um, as always, comments accepted, and as always, peace out guys, and have a nice day.